The world's first vehicle made in China is questioned. Is driverless driving really safe? Trains run on Chinese roads with no wheels or tracks, and they can travel freely in the city. The original 40-minute journey has been shortened to 12 minutes, and the cost is only one-fifth of modern trams. Driverless, energy-saving and fast. However, the second phase of construction of such an excellent means of transportation has aroused public doubts and dissatisfaction. Why is this? In this video, let us learn more about it. China Smart Rail actually conducted a trial run as early as October 2017. Its whole body is more than 30 meters long, making it a giant on the road. But it is also a flexible fat man. It adopts the flexible grouping mode of high-speed rail to solve the turning problem caused by the over-long body. And you can drive in both directions without turning around. It can be said that it is a train on the road. The difference is that the smart rail train does not have a track, but it does not mean that there is no track. It is just that we cannot see the track. This is due to China's independently developed virtual track following control technology. As long as sensors are installed on the vehicle and the guidelines are drawn in advance, the smart rail can automatically identify the virtual track on the road after it is put on the road. Compared with existing public transportation, smart rail can be said to be an all-round crusher. The first is its passenger capacity. During daily operation, there are only three smart rail trains, each of which can accommodate 100 people. During holidays, more carriages can be organized according to changes in passenger flow, which can accommodate a maximum of 300 to 500 people riding at the same time. This passenger capacity is simply overwhelming the bus. Secondly, its routes are flexible and there is no need to worry about traffic jams. Because it can intelligently detect the traffic conditions on the road ahead, if it finds that there is congestion ahead, the smart rail will automatically switch the driving route, greatly shortening the travel time of passengers. The journey once took 40 minutes by bus, but it only takes 12 minutes by smart rail. Moreover, smart rail trains are more flexible in turning than traditional 12-meter buses. When running on a circular road with a radius of 15 meters, the passage width of a 12-meter bus is 5.8 meters, while that of a smart rail train is 3.83 meters. In other words, smart rail can run smoothly wherever buses can pass. Compared with the previous rail transit, the construction cost and construction period are not saved at all. The cost of building a 10-kilometer line can save at least 1 billion yuan compared with trams. Moreover, the construction period of the entire urban line only takes one year, which is simply too good compared to the several-year construction period of the subway. The smart rail was developed by the CRRC Jujo Electric Locomotive Research Institute and has a top speed of 70 kilometers per hour. On June 2, 2017, the smart rail train made its debut in Zhuzhou. In November, it was shortlisted for the Beasley Best Design Award of the Year. But when the official planned the second phase of the smart rail project, it aroused widespread doubts among citizens. Why is this? Isn't this kind of high-tech product popular with everyone? This smart rail transit originated from Hunan has been running on the roads of Zhuzhou for several years. It brings convenience to the people, but many citizens also feel that this smart rail has many problems. As early as 2017, fully driverless cars began trial runs on the road, which attracted widespread attention at the time. There is no cab or steering wheel, so you no longer have to worry about wasting time in traffic jams when traveling. 
because driverless cars can completely free up your hands and brain, allowing you to start working in the car. Such a beautiful scene makes countless car owners look forward to the good performance of driverless vehicles. But many people have also questioned autonomous driving. It's okay when the traffic conditions are simple. When road conditions become complicated, can artificial intelligence really cope with it? In the face of emergencies, this is indeed a question worth thinking about. There are five levels of driving automation. The first is level zero. As the name suggests, the intelligence system does not interfere with the driving operation at all, and only humans can control the vehicle. At level one, there is a very vivid name called hands-on. That is, artificial intelligence shares control of the vehicle with the driver, with the human controlling the steering of the vehicle and the automatic system controlling the speed. Level 2 is called hands-off, which means that the speed and steering of the vehicle are all completed by artificial intelligence. But at this time, people still have to sit in the driver's seat and monitor the automatic operation of artificial intelligence. Once the automatic system cannot respond correctly, intervention measures must be taken in time. Level 3 is called eyes closed. At this time, the driver's attention does not need to be highly concentrated on driving, and he can sleep peacefully or leave the driving seat. However, when there is a situation that requires immediate response, such as emergency braking, manual operation is still required. Level 4 is called caution, which is similar to level 3, but the difference is that this level of intelligent driving is used. In the event of an emergency, there is no need to manually control the brakes, and the machine can automatically terminate the trip and stop. Only when space is limited and traffic jams are encountered, driving rights will be handed over to the driver. Level 5 requires no human intervention at all, which is the highest level of autonomous driving. Completely freeing the driver's hands and brain, which is also the ultimate goal that people pursue. And this requires the combination of many technologies to achieve it. The simplest and most basic ones are positioning and navigation systems, electronic maps, intelligent path planning systems, and more importantly, the machine's perception of the environment. Perhaps it is difficult for us to understand how a cold machine can recognize and feel the environment. But machine algorithms are all based on numbers. Control systems that can analyze sensory data are the key to realizing autonomous driving. Now China has fully mastered these skills. Completely driverless robot taxis are already driving on the roads of Shenzhen, China. Many people may be worried about the safety of driverless taxis. But so far, there have been no reports of driverless accidents. There are times when people accidentally doze off and lose concentration. And just these few seconds of distraction may lead to an irreparable mistake. But the machine won't. As long as it recognizes the danger, the machine can respond in advance and nip the danger in the cradle, and it will never tire of it. Speaking of smart rail transportation, the theme of this issue, it also uses driverless technology. Although there is a driver's position in the cab, it does not require full hands-on operation by the driver. As we said before, this is actually safer than a completely human-driven bus. However, many citizens still feel that this smart railway has many problems. Why is this? The world's first driverless smart rail transit was completely designed and developed independently by China, but some people are actually dissatisfied with it. Smart rail transportation is a brand new means of transportation developed by CRRC Zhuzhou. 
At that time, Zhuzhou officially planned the second phase of the smart rail project. But many citizens had doubts and dissatisfaction with this high-tech means of transportation. For example, it occupies a road that is not spacious, causing serious traffic jams for people traveling by car. The stations are very sparsely arranged, making it not that convenient to ride. Moreover, due to the smart rail planning, other buses were forced to change their routes. Many citizens felt that this affected the normal travel of citizens. The second phase of the smart rail project plans to completely run through the 20-kilometer-long artery in Zhuzhou from east to west. It's just that there are many old roads planned in the past, which are relatively narrow. Now a smart track has to be drawn. It is no longer able to carry the increasingly busy traffic flow. When smart rail is deployed, people are afraid of what kind of congestion the situation will be like. What is so good about smart rail, the world's first means of transportation, that makes the government insist on making way for it on the road? Relevant project personnel from CRRC Jujo Institute said that smart rail trains combine many advantages. In order for it to drive safely on the road, they adopted four main core technologies. The first is trajectory following control technology. This is the key to accurately controlling the train to travel on the established virtual trajectory. There are also vehicle system integration technologies. In order to allow the train to add or delete train groups at will, modular integration of the entire function is essential. The third one is smart driving. It can be said that Jigue is the practice of advanced science. Artificial intelligence has really begun to penetrate into everyone's lives. Smart rail trains can position with high precision and achieve assisted driving through fast communication. The driver does not need to hold the steering wheel and the train can automatically avoid obstacles. Another most important technology is network-free power supply. The kinetic energy of the entire train is provided by electricity which is very consistent with the current concept of energy conservation and environmental protection. Using lithium batteries for power supply, it can travel 25 kilometers with full load after 10 minutes of charging, achieving zero pollution and zero emissions. It can be said that smart rail is tailor-made to solve urban diseases. It can not only reduce the traffic burden of large passenger flows in first-tier cities, but also serve as the main means of transportation in second- and third-tier cities. Smart rail is a good means of transportation for transportation in new urban areas, special routes from the city center to tourist attractions. On December 5, 2019, the world's first smart rail was officially put into operation from Yibin. It also shows that China's innovative new urban rail transit standard smart rail has officially entered commercial operation. But the real benefits of this smart rail can only be seen when more cities in China are put into operation. Only then can it have better future development and be promoted to the whole world. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.